we're ready to get the Bernina 880 set up for embroidery. If you've been sewing and this is the first time you've put your embroidery unit on, I'm gonna show you some tips along the way. So number one, we need a few accessories out. There is a foot 26 that you need to put on. That's your embroidery foot. Put in an embroidery needle and there is a pack of needles that came with this machine, but you definitely need to have more of those on hand. The straight stitch throat plate has, I've already put that on the machine. So let's go ahead and tell the machine what we've done so far. I touched the throat plate area and tell it the zero millimeter throat plate. Plus tell it you are putting the embroidery foot 26. If you don't want to scroll, do the zero to nine and then type in 26 and select the foot. So those two are set up. Now you can put the embroidery unit on at any time. It can have the machine on, it can have the machine off. If it's already been turned on, it will start in the sewing world. And then we can always touch the home button and then we can touch and go into the embroidery side. So since we can actually sew with the embroidery unit on, that is something to know that you can actually toggle between everything. A uh, couple more things, the table you're sitting it on uh, does need to be very strong and uh, a a flat surface, obviously it's supposed to be flat, but not like anything that is bowing because of the weight of the machine. And make sure that you have pulled it away from the wall if you've got it very close to a vertical uh, wall behind you and make sure you clear off anything behind the machine and to the side. So that means like pets and everything should probably be moved away. Coffee cups and drinks are to be on this side. So again, nothing gets bumped or moved as we go. So as you bring your embroidery unit into position, you notice you have kind of two sticking out posts and a plug-in. So all, there's only one way it fits. So you just kind of tip it and then slide it into those little guys. And then you actually feel a little click, like it actually knows this is already here. So if you want to touch the home button and then touch the embroidery unit, you'll see everything will kind of reconnect and go to our embroidery screen. Now, if you do want to actually go to sewing, you can touch the home button and then touch the foot to go to the sewing side, touch the green check mark, and then this part here will actually move all the way away so you have more room. Now, with this big open area, oh, yep, there it goes, it switches over. This is where you can easily slide on the slide on table. Now, watch what I'm gonna do. First off, it's going under the needle. And this might be just a little um, not perfectly lined up. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna give my arm underneath the machine just enough so I can kind of slide this in and it clicks in place. Now look at that work surface. So like I said, we can sew here. Look how far this is already past your table as a normal setup. But then when we're ready to embroider, we can just hop back over. You will need to have that arm this way to put the table on and in place. Next, I have threaded the bobbin case. So not just the normal click, but a click and a second click. So make sure you watch our embroidery bobbin tension video uh, for you to know what the difference is. So that puts a little bit more tension on that bobbin thread and it pulls our top thread down to the back side of our embroidery, makes the top look pretty. The last thing I wanna talk about is make sure that your machine is plugged into a battery backup. So under this table, it's not a surge protector and it's definitely not plugged into the wall, but a battery will actually assist if I totally lost power, <laughs> it would be embroidering away, but it also makes the machine just have that nice constant even power. Now, if you're embroidering in the wintertime, that might not make such a difference, but those of you embroidering in the summertime uh, or the warmer months of your area, you might find some irregularities that would happen if you're not plugged into that. So again, we'll put links below this YouTube video for what a battery backup is and where you can actually click and purchase one. So that is kind of that main setup. But the key is just to clear out all this area. It's really easy to take your embroidery unit on and off. And then the flat surface is so key for getting the perfect stitch.